Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you a new Nancy Drew analysis video. Today's video is brought to you by the patrons over at Mystique Manor and by all the official fellow detective channel members. If you too would like to support the channel and gain access to exclusive features, check out patreon.com slash wizardkitten to become a patron, or click join next to the subscribe button to become an official fellow detective. In my last Nancy Drew analysis video, I continued honoring my soul's deepest desire to explore different personality assessments through the Nancy Drew PC game characters. Having already done videos on the Enneagram and the five love languages, it was about time to start tackling the Myers-Briggs type indicator, which, as I mentioned in my last video, is probably the most widely recognized personality assessment. Just like last time, I will be using my favorite Myers-Briggs website, 16personalities.com, as a resource for this video. In my last video, in the interest of time, I explored the eight introverted personality types, which means this video will focus on the eight extroverted personality types. As an introvert myself, I sometimes struggle to understand the mysterious ways of the extrovert, but nevertheless, I think we'll be able to find plenty of wonderful examples within the Nancy Drew series. But before we do that, some context is needed. First, mind. This aspect shows how we interact with our surroundings. Introverted individuals prefer solitary activities and get exhausted by social interaction. They tend to be quite sensitive to external stimulation, sound, sight, or smell in general. Extroverted individuals prefer group activities and get energized by social interaction. They tend to be more enthusiastic and more easily excited than introverts. S for sensing, observant, or N for intuitive. This aspect determines how we see the world and process information. Observant individuals are highly practical, pragmatic, and down-to-earth. They tend to have strong habits and focus on what is happening or has already happened. Intuitive individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They prefer novelty over stability and focus on hidden meanings and future possibilities. T for thinking or F for feeling. This aspect determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. Thinking individuals focus on objectivity and rationality, prioritizing logic over emotions. They tend to hide their feelings and see efficiency as more important than cooperation. Feeling individuals are sensitive and emotionally expressive. They are more empathic and less competitive than thinking types and focus on social harmony and cooperation. J for judging, or P for prospecting, perceiving. This aspect reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision-making. Judging individuals are decisive, thorough, and highly organized. They value clarity, predictability, and closure, preferring structure and planning to spontaneity. Prospecting individuals are very good at improvising and spotting opportunities. They tend to be flexible, relaxed nonconformists who prefer keeping their options open. I have identified eight poster characters that I think describe each of the eight extroverted personality types. I will first provide a description of each extroverted personality type and then identify the character, as well as how I believe that their personality shines through in the game. And of course, there will be plot spoilers for each of the eight characters mentioned and their respective games. Let's start first with the commander, ENTJ. ENTJs are natural born leaders, charismatic, confident, and determined. Also hyper-rational and driven, ENTJs are less common in the population, making up only about 3%. Though they may overwhelm some of the more sensitive types, ENTJs play an important role in society as committed pursuers of brilliant ideas and plans. They are strategic and often push their goals forward through sheer willpower, using their extroversion to bring others along with them. 
dominant and sometimes unforgiving, ENTJs demand respect and pursuit of the goal, willing to challenge if needed. Emotional expression and understanding, therefore, isn't really their strong suit, but relentless pursuit of excellence certainly is. ENTJs are efficient, energetic, confident, strong-willed, strategic, charismatic, and inspiring, though they can also be stubborn, dominant, intolerant, impatient, arrogant, unempathetic, cold, and ruthless. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Nicholas Falcone from The Final Scene is our poster character for the ENTJ personality type. As the organizer of Had It, Nicholas is clearly a charismatic leader, one who believes firmly in his cause and has laid out a clear course of action by which to achieve it. He's sociable and charming, able to inspire others into joining his organization, though he definitely rubs certain people the wrong way. This doesn't bother Nicholas in the least, a classic ENTJ trait. He knows his goal, and the uninspired opinions of Mr. Charmstrong or the police won't stop him. We also see just how efficient and goal-driven he is, and that it takes him a while to truly empathize with Nancy and her plight, especially since it's helping his cause. He eventually gets there, though it's clear that his ENTJ sensibility is much more likely to prioritize his goals over anything else. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Next, the protagonist, ENFJ. ENFJs are thoughtful and idealistic, striving to have a positive impact on the world by using their natural leadership skills, passion, and charisma to inspire others. They pride themselves on their ability to guide others to their best selves, deeply valuing authenticity and altruism. Their values are incredibly important to them, and ENFJs won't hesitate to speak out against injustice or do the right thing. They have unique insights into people, which allows them to be persuasive, though their intent is always pure. ENFJs are sensitive and empathetic though they may have a tendency to over-involve themselves in the problems of others or push too hard before someone is ready to make a change. ENFJs are receptive, reliable, passionate, altruistic, and charismatic, though they can also be unrealistic, overly idealistic, condescending, intense, and overly empathetic. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Jessalyn Thornton from Ghost of Thornton Hall is our poster character for the ENFJ personality type. The way other characters talk about Jessalyn sums everything up quite nicely. She is universally liked, universally admired, and is a passionate beacon for the Thornton family. She's clearly a sociable leader, friendly and charismatic and unafraid to speak up when wrongs are revealed. She has quiet confidence and highly values doing the right thing. Even after hearing negative things about Harper all her life, she is still able to empathize with her and see her goodness. She consistently empathizes with people who have done her wrong while still recognizing her own power and inspiring those same people to become better people. A classic ENFJ. What made you trust Harper? I wished I could explain. I've been asking myself the same thing. My mother had us convinced that Harper was dangerous. I think my mother's been putting this whole family under her thumb, me included, to keep us from finding whatever it was Charlotte was about to do. Next, the debater, ENTP. Perhaps the type least afraid of conflict, ENTPs are bold and intelligent and will not hesitate to prove that to you. The ultimate devil's advocate, ideas and rationality are absolutely essential for ENTPs. They are prone to shedding an argument or idea to bits, and not even always for a purpose, but rather because it's so intellectually stimulating. The ultimate goal of an ENTP is to seek knowledge through their chosen method, which means that mundanity, grunt work, predictability, and restriction are absolutely unacceptable. 
Perhaps unsurprisingly, ENTPs are deeply frustrated by more sensitive feeling types, as emotions are completely inconsequential when it comes to an intellectual debate. ENTPs are knowledgeable, quick thinkers, original, excellent brainstormers, charismatic, and energetic, though they can also be argumentative, insensitive, intolerant, distracted, and overly theoretical. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Dr. Malachi Craven from Creature of Kapu Cave is our poster character for the ENTP personality type. Dr. Craven is obviously intelligent, top in his field, and known for his brilliance as a scientist. Since ENTPs are characterized by their pursuit of knowledge, this is our first clue that he could be an ENTP. But our second and perhaps more obvious clue is that Dr. Craven has no problem channeling his intense energy into yelling, debates, and critiques. Emotional recognition is hardly his go-to. Rather, intellectual problem-solving and results are. He will fire an incompetent employee without a second thought. While others may shy away from conflict, Dr. Craven has no issue accusing Nancy immediately of being a spy, which means he'd be incredibly valuable in a chaotic situation, but has led him to have a reputation of not playing well with others in the scientific world. Though intense, it's clear that Dr. Craven is invaluable in pushing us forward and challenging the status quo. None whatsoever. This is a private facility. I'm under no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to anyone, except my employer, of course. But what you're doing does involve hybridizing plants? Look here, Nancy. You're obviously familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. Next, the campaigner. ENFP. ENFPs are the free spirits of the world, sociable and approaching others with both an open heart and an open mind. They're lively and upbeat, but their sociability goes beyond the surface level and is really about cultivating meaningful emotional connections with others. ENFPs are easygoing, able to embrace their imaginations and creativity in unique ways. They're daydreamers, seeking out life's joys and pondering the significance of life's mysteries. They are genuine and expressive, but their intense focus on others may lead ENFPs to unintentionally overinterpret the actions of others and become overly anxious or stressed. ENFPs are curious, perceptive, enthusiastic, communicative, festive, and good-natured, though they can also be people-pleasing, unfocused, disorganized, overly accommodating, overly optimistic, and restless. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Matt Simmons from The Haunting of Castle Malloy is our poster character for the ENFP personality type. Matt is sociable and fun, full of joy as evidenced by his love of practical jokes. He's lively, welcoming, and immensely likable, a playful spirit whose main goal is to enjoy life. He's a lot of fun to be around, but his relationships also go deeper than that. He knows about the complications between him, Kit, and Kyler, and even Denal. He doesn't necessarily push these issues under the rug, which we know because of his best man decision, but he also doesn't let these difficulties overshadow his propensity to have a good time. A hallmark ENFP. Matt may be easily distractible and a bit overwhelming at times, but he's also friendly, enthusiastic, and enjoys a good adventure. A great guy to have around. I stumbled upon the entrance to a secret passage in the nursery, so I thought it would be jolly good fun to make some ghostly sorts of noise from inside it and give Kyler a fright. But all of a sudden, this crow flew in through the window and came straight at my eyes. I fell backwards into the passage trying to get away from it, and the next thing I knew, I was falling through a hole in the floor. Fortunately, I only fell about two meters. So I got to my feet, and since it was dark and my glasses were knocked off when that crow attacked me, I started feeling my way along the wall looking for a ladder or something so I could climb back up. But instead, my hand hit some sort of button. Next, the executive. 
ESTJ. ESTJs are stabilizing, solid, and sensible, able to bring order to chaos and dedication to any task. They embrace traditional, hardworking values like honesty, dignity, and leadership. They are excellent at bringing together a diverse group of minds and leading them towards completion of a common goal. ESTJs are relatively common and, perhaps unsurprisingly, are often found in leadership positions. They also believe in by-the-book processes, generally rule followers who utterly reject laziness and cheating. ESTJs are also rational people, living in a world of verifiable facts and using them to inform decisions. While excellent at bringing others along with them in pursuit of their goal or ambition, they must be careful that their high standard of excellence is motivating for others and not discouraging. ESTJs are dedicated, strong-willed, direct, honest, loyal, patient, reliable, orderly, and organized, though they can also be inflexible, stubborn, uncomfortable with unconventionality, judgmental, overly focused on social status, high-strung, and emotionally inept. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Debbie Kirkham from Trail of the Twister is our poster character of the ESTJ personality type. Our first clue here is that Debbie is obviously a leader, taking control of the Canute Storm Chasing team when the person who is supposed to be in charge of the team isn't doing a very good job. An ESTJ is able to easily spot flawed leadership and has no problem stepping up to do it better. Debbie is organized and competent, clearly excellent at her work as a scientist and as an administrator. She prefers to follow structures and routines and is able to direct people according to plans, even in uncontrollable situations. We can certainly see her stubborn side in that she is convinced in her methods and is not interested in changing them, though there's really no need to. Debbie leads a well-oiled machine, just as an ESTJ would. I think you guys have got a mouse problem. No, we've got a mice problem, which we're all just trying to ignore because there's really no time to do anything about it. I think maybe the little piles of corn I keep finding are what's causing it. I haven't noticed any little piles of corn. Little piles of dirt, yes, but corn? Anyway, it's more likely the mice are causing the piles. Probably storing up for the winter or something. Next, the console, ESFJ. ESFJs are, in short, popular. They're attentive and people-focused, the kinds of people who excel as cheerleaders, quarterbacks, and other kinds of charismatic leaders. ESFJs are primarily supportive, doing their best to make others happy. They're not the kind of people who enjoy lofty discussions about scientific theories or politics. Rather, they prefer down-to-earth, practical conversations, oriented around people and the here and now. They love gossip and are great at it, though they prefer to use their powers of sociability for good, especially since ESFJs are also altruists, who believe it's their responsibility to try and do the right thing. They love to be of service and are at their best when they know that they are valued and appreciated for their outgoing, supportive, loyal, and devoted selves. ESFJs are dutiful, loyal, hardworking, sensitive, warm, and connective, though they can also be overly worried about their social status, inflexible, stuck in their ways, vulnerable to criticism, too needy, and too selfless. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Harlan Bishop from The Haunted Carousel is our poster character for the ESFJ personality type. Harlan is outgoing and sociable, immediately working to enfold Nancy into the threads of Captain's Cove and fill her in on all the local gossip. Far from lofty, Harlan is practical and all about the here and now concerns of his job. He's driven to redeem himself for his past mistakes, which puts his loyalty to Paula Santos and his dedication to his job center stage, classic ESFJ traits. He genuinely wants to do the right thing and is constantly worried about his standing at Captive's Cove. He wants to be liked and he wants to be good at his job. Two simple but meaningful goals, right in line with the hopes of an ESFJ. Well, see, joy is just kind of joy-less. 
it had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. Next, the entrepreneur, ESTP. ESTPs are energetic and impactful people who love to be the center of attention. With their blunt, earthy senses of humor and action-oriented personalities, ESTPs are unlikely to be interested in abstract plotting concepts or discussions. This doesn't mean that they aren't intelligent, however, far from it. ESTPs are incredibly clever, simply preferring to direct their mental faculties towards immediate action and concrete steps. They aren't one to sit back and wait for others to do something. They have no problem jumping in head first, often to even a dangerous extent. ESTPs are, in fact, the personality type most likely to make a lifestyle out of risky behavior. Highly organized environments are a bore for ESTPs. They prefer adventure, unpredictability, and challenge. Perceptive and unencumbered by filtered worldviews, ESTPs see things for what they are and take action accordingly. ESTPs are bold, rational, practical, original, perceptive, direct, and sociable. Though they can also be insensitive, impatient, risk-prone, unstructured, defiant, and likely to miss the big picture. In the Nancy Drew universe, I believe that Zoe Wolfe from The Silent Spy is our poster character for the ESTP personality type. As a spy, Zoe clearly has no problem with a life of action, danger, and intrigue. She's blunt, sarcastic, clever, and doesn't hesitate to take immediate, perhaps impulsive, action. Zoe is also able to channel her sociable energy quite easily into interrogations. She quickly picks up on all the players in a situation, using her skills of socialization to efficiently orient herself to the situation. Plotting organization is clearly not her thing. Decisive action certainly is. Her ability to jump headfirst into adventure while still having command of the situation is admirable, and a certain indicator of an ESTP. What was so important about the information my mother hid? Want a crash course in international intelligence? Because here it is. Every day that passes without a large-scale atrocity is both an accident and a miracle. I don't have time to explain it. Why don't you talk to Ewan? How do you know I'm talking to him? And wait, why? First, please. Second, don't talk. Get him to talk. Finally, the entertainer, ESFP. ESFPs are vibrant, spontaneous people with a zest for life, full of energy, style, and excitement. They live with passion and love the spotlight, whether just with their large groups of friends or in their careers. As some of the most social types, ESFPs love nothing more than having a good time with friends. They're also more aesthetic than any other personality type, with a keen eye for fashion and grooming and a love for all things design. They know what's attractive, and they aren't afraid to play around with new designs. Though it may not always seem like it, ESFPs are also incredibly observant and sensitive to the emotions of others. They love to provide emotional support to their friends. The biggest challenge, though, for ESFPs comes in the form of responsibility. They're often so focused on immediate pleasures and luxuries that duties can often get left behind. ESFPs are bold, original, aesthetic, performative, practical, observant, and great with people, though they can also be sensitive, conflict-averse, easily bored, irresponsible, and unfocused. In the Nancy Drew universe, I think that Jing Jing Ling from Danger by Design is our poster character for the ESFP personality type. First, and perhaps most obviously, JJ loves fashion and works in the modeling industry, clearly demonstrating that ESFP love for aestheticism and design. Her apartment is also gorgeously decorated, something that an ESFP would find very important. She's easily bored and is constantly doing something, making cookies, roping Nancy into playing hangman, you name it. She's full of energy and highly prioritizes socializing and fun. 
She's dynamic and playful, and loves the spotlight as evidenced by her propensity for making up wild stories just to see how people react. Creative and social, JJ represents that classic ESFP vibe. He and Minette went out for about six months. Then all of a sudden, last April, Minette dumped him. Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. Was he angry? You'd have to ask him. Just watch out when you're in that photographic studio of his. He lets his pet boa constrictor slither around loose in there. He has a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? And there you have it, fellow detectives. My picks to represent each of the eight extroverted Myers-Briggs personality types in the Nancy Drew universe. I actually found this video more difficult to make than the first one, partially because, as an introvert, I relate more to the introverted personality types and have an easier time identifying the nuances within each personality, but also because extroverts seem to be less common overall in the Nancy Drew series. I can't definitively say why this is, but I theorize that creators of video games may be more likely to be introverted given the more solitary nature of gaming in general, and so perhaps creators are more likely to bring to life characters that they recognize. Alternatively, introverts tend to be more quiet and reserved, which may seem more mysterious and therefore more conducive as a suspect in a mystery game. Again, I'm not certain why, but those are my theories. But what do you think, fellow detectives? Do you agree with my picks for each of the extroverted personality types? Does it seem to you like there are more introverted characters than extroverted characters in the games, or am I losing my marbles? And what is your Myers-Briggs personality type? Let a wizard kitten know in the comment section down below. If you would like to come join a fantastic group of fellow detectives at Mystique Manor as a patron for the channel, gain access to exclusive content, and support the making of more content like this, please check out patreon.com slash wizardkitten. I have also just launched channel memberships with exclusive badges and emojis to use during streams and in the comment section. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming an official fellow detective, click join next to the subscribe button. Please feel free to follow the channel on Instagram or Discord, linked in the description box down below. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Nancy Drew and Sims 4 content. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.